Greetings and welcome, my name is Aaron Craig with Beyond This Games, and in this tutorial I'm just going to be showing you how to download, install, and customize Game Maker Studio 2. Because if you don't know where to get started, then this is the place. If you want to get into game development, Game Maker Studio 2 is a fantastic piece of software that has a free trial version, can export to many different platforms, and is simple and easy to learn, and I would say there's a lot of great tutorials my channel, uh, covering Game Maker Studio. There's a lot of resources out there for learning. Now, all you need to, get to do is go to yoyogames.com. Uh, you can search for Game Maker Studio 2, uh, Yoyo Games. It'll come up with yoyogames.com as the first result. Once you're here, I want to show you a couple things first. So they have right here uh, the features, manual release notes, and support. These things are important. Most of them will show up in the actual Game Maker Studio 2 software when you load it up. They have a showcase, which just shows the games that other Game Maker Studio developers have made. If you want to get inspired or support other developers, this is a great place to go, and you can purchase their games. You can also learn. They've got tutorials, written, and video from other developers and creators on here that you can learn. The marketplace, you can buy plugins, assets, things like that from Game Maker Studio. And you can also go to the community. Now, what I want to show you here is the forum specifically. This is a place where you go and you can post your questions, post your bugs, talk to other game developers, get technical support. It is a great community full of awesome and nice moderators that will help you and be quick to respond to your questions and concerns. But with that out of the way, what we need to do is actually download the program. So we're going to click on Get Game Maker right up here in the top right corner. And you can see that there's a lot of different versions. Now, if you are serious about game development and you are ready to get going, then I highly recommend you purchasing the desktop version of Game Maker Studio. It has all of these features. You can export to Windows, Mac, and Ubuntu, and you get um, a lot of other things with it. So that's what I do. But if you just want to start out, if you just want to see if it is for you, if you like it at all, then just go to the trial version and you click on download and it will take you to a screen where you will need to either sign up or sign in for a YoYo Games account. I've already done that, and I have Game Maker Studio 2 desktop on here, so I am going to download Game Maker Studio 2. Your screen will look a little bit different. It might not have this option for Game Maker Studio 1, but the Game Maker Studio 2 option will be right there, and you just download it. So once you've got that downloaded, let's go ahead and install. I'm going to pause it and jump to that section of this, the video. All right, once it is downloaded, it'll be in your downloads folder or your desktop or wherever it was that you chose to save it. We're going to double click and open it up. Now it's going to ask for permission. You want to say yes, because it is a trusted piece of software. And then you're going to go through the installation user agreement. You have all of these options. I'd recommend just keeping it the way it is by default. Go through next and then install it where you want it to go. And it's gonna go through this whole installation process. Depending on your computer, it might take a long time. It might just take a little bit of time. You know, it it's all varies on your computer system. So this is gonna install and let's go ahead and jump right next to the next part. All right, that took a couple minutes, but now it is done installing. So I'm gonna click on next and click finish. So Game Maker Studio 2 is going to open up, it's going to do an initial setup process, and you'll be presented with this screen. Now, if you have any recent projects, which you probably wouldn't, uh, they would appear right here. Mine are, I uninstalled it and then reinstalled it for this tutorial just to show you how it's done. Now, what I wanna do is show you how to customize this just a little bit. So we're just gonna create a new project, and it doesn't matter which one of these you choose. I'll click on Game Maker Language for now, and I'll just type in F, because we'll name this project F. And then once you're in here, this is how it's gonna look. Now, if you don't understand how it looks or how it functions at all, I'd recommend checking out some of my other tutorials where there's some beginner layout and how to start doing things in here. But what I wanna show you first is, first off, the help. Uh, this open manual right here, this is going to be a lifesaver for you. I'd recommend reading through it. A lot of manuals can be difficult to understand and not very useful. Game Maker Studio 2 has a fantastic manual with instructions, uh, guides, examples, and code that you can copy and paste that will actually work. And then I wanna go over here to File and Preferences. This is where all of the options for how things look and behave and the default settings are stored. 
Now, there's a lot here, and there's not a lot that you'll want to change until you become more familiar with it. What I want to show you is just a few things that you might find kind of interesting. The first one is this workspace. So you can set it to dark, or you can set it to light. If you change it, you have to restart the client, which is why I'm just going to keep mine dark for now. But if you want a different theme than what the default is, this is where you can do that. And you can also change the background for this uh, uh, on Game Maker Studio 2. So the default one is just here. You can click on these little icons and you can see here that you can go and change it. Now, I don't have anything to change it to right off the bat, but <clears throat> if you were so inclined, you could do that and it would look really cool. So that's really all I, w I got for you in this video. Nice, simple, short. But now that you've got it up, you have a full game development engine on your desktop ready to go. There are some amazing games that have been made with Game Maker Studio 2 and really the only limit is your imagination and time. So if you are willing to put work and energy into this, you can create something incredible. And I hope you do and I hope that I can continue to help you out on your journey. If you have any questions, if there's anything you'd like to see, anything you're confused about, then please leave a comment below. Hit me up on Twitter. Uh, check me out on Patreon if you'd like to continue to support this kind of content and vote for the upcoming tutorials that I make if there's anything specific that you would like to see. But that's all I've got for you guys. So I hope you guys have a great time making games, learning how this works, and I will talk to you later. Hey there. Uh, I've got a Patreon, if you didn't know. If you'd like to support me, that would be great. Up on the screen are the people who are pledging enough to get their name in the credits. They are helping fund this YouTube channel, which is awesome. I just want to give a shout out to them and all that they do to help me do this. It's great. If you would like to join, uh, you can click on the link at the end of the video or in the description below. Thank you. <laughs>